Hey, what's going on, guys? Sam Piper XP back with some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, we are about to start Chapter 3, so let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Getting up in a blimp, popping up on out of here. So, I know, I know what this chapter entails. I know it's only good Yoshi. I want an orange Yoshi. So, if it takes me a few tries, I'm sorry, but I'm getting that damn orange Yoshi. Here we go. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. We're flying. We're really flying. about it. This is Glitzville. Can you believe it actually floats? Cool. Well, let's get to it, huh, Mario? Let's find that crystal star as fast as we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm assuming we're about to we gotta come back for this one. Oh, maybe, maybe Yoshi can get it. the collectibles. You need to store this in Cubon. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. We got Queen Bella. Hello, mustache here, fella. Here's store. Point swap, hell cave, power punch, bigger bolt. Ah. Here we go. 
into the Blitz Pit. This mouse? Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Get out, Mario. There's something's about to catch a beating up there. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I think about time for you to feel the rock, brother. Oh, oh. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then you can come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mama again. Hoo <laughs> wee, champ! That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who could challenge me? No, no one can hear me. Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take it anyway. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby! Rock Hockey's the champ! <laughs> hey, that's a crystal star. Whoa, look, Mario. There, on the champ's belt. Isn't that the crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Look at the sparkle. Gotta be a crystal star. Why would anybody... Why would that be in a sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that meathead's belt, can we? This stinks. What do we do? Battle our way to the top. There you go. You and I are totally on the same wavelength. Crack a few heads, take a few names, become champ, and nab the belt. Oh, yeah. So let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Oh, I'm kinda getting stoked about this. Let's go find out who runs this thing. Currently, darn. Gotta find the rubber room. Oh, uh, the just inside.
Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. You're your one rude dude coming in without knocking. So he's got like a promoter voice. But when he's not promoted, I feel like he's got this country accent. What now? You an athlete, huh? You gonna be a fighter? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. That dude changed a thing or two, son. Always got time for an up and coming. Yep, this place is packed with kids with young fighters, all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now play me straight, son. You don't live the glamorous life to a champ, don't you? Darn skip it. All right, all right, son. I hear you. I, I hear where you come from, son. Loud and clear. Mm -hmm. When I was just a poor punk, I didn't give a pokey toot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now, I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earn enough to set me to life. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's my key, son. Dream big, and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son? That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. Go on. This is the champion's room. In the side of the other side. Become a champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself in a life of wealth and comfort of weights. Now here, now, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. know this already son but there ain't one there ain't but one world champion climbing the way to the top and taking that belt to become champion in these things but that's the point son it wouldn't be worth it if it weren't no challenge i can see you got the five four two hard you got the eye of the tiger right there you're gonna be the champ i can just feel it and i ain't never been so sure about fighting oh hey one other thing you gotta sign an interview contract to be fine. Then the thing will just take a second or two of your time. So jump your name here, okay? Sign me up. You signed the contract. Best thing you've ever done, son. you Mario and a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part of the last little punch is a fighter's name, get me? Let me see you. Damn, hooey, I got it! 
From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzales. Who ate that a few? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius, I named that a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone's super bow before the great Gonzales. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way, Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, huh? Jolene, this is the great Gonzales, our newest rising star. Be a peach to take him on down to the minor league block of room, all righty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzales, if you'd be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you're a contract of five now. Oh, as you know, you're a contract of five now. So you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grover says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grover releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I'll explain as they become available. This is your locker room. You're starting the money, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will decide who you can match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Go to the screen and log on with it and pick ranked match. made the Game Boy noise. Well, howdy, Gonzales. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we wanna get everyone fired up, though. So appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, hard. Okay, your battle is resumed. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team drops the opponent's HP to zero for his points. Simple winnings is not enough. When Mr. River sets five conditions, you follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. It's fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher rank opponent next. If you lose the match and don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get your rank up to the 11th, you also get a shot at the nation. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yup. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Gonzales, match time! Follow me, bud. Okay, security's here to escort you to the room. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Let's go. <laughs> so it's five minutes. Let's square it off next, folks! <laughs> the meteor hit hard heads! The Goomba Bros! And a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting on them and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do you, how do Goomba Bros? How are y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha, are you kidding me? We're always ready to balk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez freaking cocky idiot? That's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fires with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Hot diggity dang, fuck fans! It's the great Gonzales now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Whoo! Okay, now Gonzales, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. 
Have a bonk, punk. Oh! They, those two cowards! They pushed those chickens' attacks before the bell rang! Oh, that is it! Come on! We are losing the punks like them, let's waste them! Quit crying, will you? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our, where's our thank you? The no, great no, Gonzalez no, no, wins! No, 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 no. Tell me, son, what was the first taste of victory like? That fight? What a joke. <sighs> Listen no, to this guy, no, no, he's no, like no, a no. poet of the arena! I'll tell no, you no, what, no, I just no, saw no, folks no, a whooping. This kid's got skills. We got no, ourselves no, a new no, hero. No, no, Let's hear it for him, no, folks. No, no, no. Yeah, the great Gonzalez! Not too safe, son. So for a fast fight, Gonzales, you got some problems. Anyway, I'll be heading out. Go and get your fight money from Jolene. Here's your fight money for five coins, Mr. Gonzales. Myers ranked the Rose 19. You're ranked winner because you met the conditions. The next fight will not be set up until you select rank national talent. You can also check the current ranking on the terminal screen. Before you do whatever you like to your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez.
He a rook house for spite. I'm King K, just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy's here. He's Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb. As Mr. Lean was saying, you better Bomb obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions and win your rank, your rank won't go up even if you win the match, Bomb. Yeah, my name has, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, Bomb Bomb. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy and... Hey, nice to meet you. I'm not here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh, yeah. You sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP are fully recovered. It's like the kitchen bed in the chance room, though. It doesn't really feel stark anymore. Okay, cool. And then this last guy with sweet purple kicks is known as Cleftor. Crack. Cleftor, no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Cleft man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you can get used to him. Anyway, that's the core of my elite crew. You need something to ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna eventually square off eventually, so good luck, man. Thanks, dude. Let's go. The whole hat of guns are us fixed for a fight, huh? Okay then, your next opponent will be ranked in 18, the KP Coopers. Now listen, son, if this is bad, I want you to avoid using any of them their star points. Our flat points. Yeah, you heard me. Let's see how you do with none of them fancy pants moves. Now get in there, show me something, son. Hey, looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man. To both of us. I'm about to whip that ass, son. You're just an old Koopa. Gonzalez, match time, <laughs> follow me, bub. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. You're not gonna lose the likes of you. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we we're gonna square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle! Bella. Okay. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. See, no biggie. Here's your five million six coins, Mr. Gonzalez. I rank that up because you met the conditions. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Hey! Way to hand out a feet down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think so, man. Well, Bull had a gun, so I was fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then your next opponent will be rank 17, the Goof Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now, listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, and they want to see your partner show their stuff, too. Now, get in there and put your partner to work. We use Coops. There's a Pokey.
<laughs> Gonzales, mess up. Call me bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzales, and the spiked terror triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the pokey triplets. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get yourselves ready to battle! Oops. Damn! One shot him! Oops, is too strong! We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario. Wow! Oh yeah. Too strong. Here's your five money of seven coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Versus 17. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, I'm gonna start skipping this. What's cracking, G-Man? Did you just finish beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. Well, King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you need to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. I don't think I have to notice you following me. Stop that too, it's creepy. You need to get the rules for being a let's play. Understood? Hmm. Again, dude? Man, you are just a magnet for trouble. I can't take the sides, okay? You need to bring the rules for me. Aw, oh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can't take that toad and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Well, you know, no particular reason. No, you folks so hard, man. Let's be up. What a weird dude. Whoa. Well, boy, how the guys are fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then, your next opponent will be... Number 16, the dead bone. This is something that's about to avoid using a jump. No jumping whatsoever. That's a pure test of power with that element of bouncing around. You get me? Now get in there and hand out a whooping or two. Okay. Ugh. We got the merciless executioner of the great Gonzalez and the bone banging rockers. Yeah, I'll fight to the finish with the dead bones. I'll try to get in your way, Mario. We're gonna take the skin off your bones. Get ready to get yourselves ready to battle! Alright, that'll probably be the last time I do it. It seems like it's not going to oh. Dude, the announcer's voice is hurt. Oh, Come on. Man, 
I heard you just knocked some blocks off not too bad. Double G, man, you're the real deal. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. When anyone gives you a look, you just tell him King K said to back it up. Biz, wow. Ah, hurts. <laughs> My foot. Oh, you're just fine. Shut up. Like, pressure right there. Ouch. Do you have a gag, maybe? Let me get a grip. Mommy. Well, sounds like some poor sucker just had himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is really sports sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Mommy! Da da Spike Storm. Da 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 Oh gosh. 
Rock Hog. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough lie. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves the rock. No! Stuff isn't what's the behavior is unacceptable food stuff. I assist you to assist. No, please! Come back to me! Someone help! My rare imported egg has escaped! Please catch it! Dog stand. Absolutely acceptable and polite society. I see you come down once say how I reach you up there, fly like a common sparrow. I'm sleeping. Alright. Now I know I need to time myself once I grab this damn egg. So I'm gonna save as soon as I grab it. guy free, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps around anyway. Well, looks like you're free to clear, little guy. Bye. Huh? What's up here? You wanna follow us or something? Uh, I think it definitely wants to stick with us. Of course we do, Mario. Alright. That's great, Mario. Get here with us, little buddy. Stay out of the way, okay? Alright. So I need to do I need to get to the thing in 12 minutes. Run Mario run run Mario run. I've a I have a 12 to 15 minute timeline here. I'm gonna hit my save block. I really don't want to do that all the way again. But I will. Speed! We got this need for speed! Yeah. 
One special move. Oh, sleep. Wake up. Let me leave. Let's go. That's not good. I totally just thought, yeah, yeah, I just ran through them like that. That was quick. Might have screwed me over. I might have to restart. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't like it was a lot of time, but I feel like it's enough time to where it's gonna screw me over. I hope not. Oh, I can skip. Why do you have to type, talk to me every time? Go, 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 go. 
to go faster.
Why? Why are you? Why? They did this just to screw you over. The 11th ranked duel. They could be the 10th ranked powerhouse of the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the first close execution in here. The Great Gonzalez! <laughs> Holy, totally, the Great Gonzalez, how you feeling? Just perfect, thanks. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you heard the fella, he's obviously just gonna mix it up some. This spikes the eagle? The challenger is a real confident boy. Yeah, he's talking trash. I heard Doss once he said, more like paper dog faced bros, and they stink. They said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Oh, yeah. And then he said, out of belly buttons running their family. Stink one. Oh, and so on. Yep. What? Because you know Bob has an Audi. That jerk. We're going to blend you up into a smoothie powder. Then we're going to drink you. Oh, and one more thing. Only smell stink wads. Call other people stink wads. Understand, stink wad? Simmer down there, bro. You stink wad. You're going to regret opening your yap, pal. See those pods? All the iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they're penetrating any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try, you. Completely useless. Think of that over a short time and you left with a functional brain. Alright, so I know what I need to do. I just need to leave because I know I can't do it. I can't Let's show off our stuff. There, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow my opponent whole honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? 
Let's see. This came out of that egg, so I guess I don't got any yet. You see fired up well, so watch me make it cool, okay? Mm, citrus, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Godzilla, let's get out there and do some damage. Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Citrus. Press X to ride, Yoshi. Move much faster. Sweet. Whole day to float through the air for a brief time. His flutter jump. Oh yeah. Yeah. We got a Yoshi. We got an orange Yoshi. Hell. Hell yeah. Let's go upgrade him. All citrus. Mini egg. Shazubi! Shazubi! Let's fix a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be... Right, Tim and Blitz Pits, the Iron Donuts Twins. Now, let's son this battle. Be sure to use partner skill at least once. The crowd loves tag team, but you want to see partners show their stuff, too. Now, get in there and put your partner to work. Executioner, the great Gonzalez, and the armored <laughs> hair. Yeah, a fight to the finish with the Iron Adonis twins. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra hard bots just can't lose. <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle. <laughs> oh, citrus. Please do the whoop they ass for. Godzilla, stick me at it. We're gonna take those punks this time. <laughs> stick was challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like the cross new shirt with partner. Is it that's gonna help him? Oh, I'm gonna use a partner. Come here. <laughs> She has no defense. Spit him out. Oh, Nasty taste out of your mouth, oh, Yoshi. Shit. Ooh. We have to go back to the mining league now, bro. I think I'm pretty sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez, with the win. You made the major league. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and wooly fight. A diggity dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going to place. I can tell. Hoo-wee. Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him. Here's your fight money of 14 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Oh, there's Ricky Rosa to be ranked on it, you with the conditions. Hey, Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Gerber wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Alright, come on, Citrus.
Mr. Grandma? Mr. Grandma Dolls, as you requested. It's Joe Lee. You mind your manners now. We knock around here, missing. I apologize, Mr. Grandma. Don't you worry your pretty little head about nothing. Now, what do I want again? Some dark kinds of awesome. Oh, yeah! Guns Austin, awesome. oh son, so, so let me congratulate you, son, Major League already, huh? I had a feel you were going places a day. I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tushes in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little sub, son. Go on, take it. Heck yeah, you got 30 coins. So yeah, there's something else that's been on my mind. Costume and cool. No big deal, son. Hey, someday, come champ, I'll get you a new one. Moving up in the world. Major League Weapon, you'll use this room from the moment on. The match just seems the same as mine, right? but that's a hard. Try to keep it straight up there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, oh, you'll excuse me, I must be going now. What's the deal? Would I kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh! Stun the guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you. <laughs> what a waste of time. Huh? What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the chance belt? What in the heck? You get too close to the hawk and you might get robbed. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hmm. Hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock, huh? I don't think so. You got some guts call my belt to fake you shrimpy no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Well, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big, bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, remember, I'll tell you apart. Though, remember the rock. I butchered that, man. Well, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him. We got a problem. You're Matt Point of Glitzville, right? That dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it. Then where the heck is the real one at? Oh. Gonzalez, is that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? Who is it? Oh. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? The whole deal seems kind of whack. Gonzalez, even if the belt's a fake, I think we should try to take the championship anyway. It's the best way to find out what's really going up here in the Glitz Pits. Occupied. Well, let's keep it going then. Da, 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 da. Well, Bull had a Gonzales fix for a fight, huh? Okay, da, da, then your da, next opponent will be right now in the Glitz Pits and the Tiny Spines. Now, look, son, in this battle, I want you to keep that part of yours from doing any damage. What? Da, 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 da. 
Oh. That sucks. <laughs> you can wait. I'm going to take a rest. I didn't let me skip. Maybe because I rested. That was my first time resting there. Take me a Gonzales? Ha! It's gonna be fun poking at you. Oh, it's all like a key. Citrus. Talk that shit, Yoshi. Talk that shit. Thanks. I like monies. Alright. <clears throat> Went back up the ranks. Me and Citrus dominating as usual. Got sauce, you hear that? You just got another email. See what it is, man. All right, all right, all right. Let's look. Oh! Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. It's from our mystery X dude. Go to some watering hole, huh? Okay, whatever. I'd give anything to know who this dude is. Let's go find out, Yoshi. Zooming. the mustache I've been waiting for. Oh, 
I got a super hammer. Thanks, Toadette. Hammer Whack 2005. Oh. Gonzalez, email time. Oh, smash the blockade in the locker room from X. The blockade in the locker room, huh? Wonder what's behind it. Let's go find out. Fell down to the minor league. Dubious <laughs> documents. Oh, Gonzalez, is that some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars? Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. The belt was fake, but the real star's gotta be here somewhere. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. You again, Mr. Gonzalez. What are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Dang, what's with her? We bust our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star's here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Seven the shell shockers. Wait, what? I want you to let you get self get damaged at least five times. Okay. Let's go. Oh, my back. All oh, these guys. All right. The turtles of hurdle.
Oh no, I don't need Mario in the front then. Damn, damn, damn! Two times. Ah, uh, grab pound. There we go. Time to go back to Gary. Yep, I don't want to get a bingo on a poison mushroom. Five damage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Comma down there. Get him, Yoshi. Actually, a pretty hard fight. A rock hawk. I oh, know these guys. Whoa, no! I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage. You may us look like suckers the other day. Now you're gonna pay for it. Oh, a little time for your match. Great stick ball. Too bad. Prepare for pain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not cool. Not cool. Mushroom fry myself. Yoshi's almost down. Oh, I missed. Wonder if my hammer can do something now. No! Oh god. Waste a life mushroom on him. Whatever. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Blah. We lost after all that. We reek. Hooey! That's our great Gonzales, friends and neighbors. Can't don't even blink with the Iron Adonis Twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough. He's too he's too dang tough. Yeah, this kid's only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. I got coins. Sweet.
Gonzales, another email. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. Man, that dude sounds pre-peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex, buddy. What do you think would send something like that? I don't know, man. They obviously want the smoke, though. The fuzz. I want you to avoid swapping partners out. Easy. Yeah, I definitely need to rest after getting my ass handed me that last one. <sighs> oh, we got some fuzzies. The bottomless vacuums. Meork, Meork, will suck your souls, Meork. It's kind of messed up, man. Take my FP. Easy peasy. These fights ain't nothing. That I got. <sighs> Sweet. Jolene brought you a piece of cake from a fan, I guess. Heck yeah! Cool. Orange 5, the Magic Koopa Masters. I use at least one special move. I'm already waiting, man. I've been waiting for you. Alright, we got a flying one. A red and a white one. The Underworld Servants? You fool! Would, would do you do well if you are dark magic? Ready to battle! Let's just go ahead and do the special move. Lamb. Lamb. Oh. Whatever. I don't know. Spit him out. Man, gulp is really good.
Ground pound. Boing, 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 boing. Catch you for the floor taste. Mario! What in the name are you doing here, Bowser? Whoa! None of the finest storming in this here. Screaming his fool's head off was about something. Gonzalez has a lot of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street was that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville, and looky here. Talk about perfect timing, and now all those folks get to watch me myrtleize you. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, and I have witnesses. Yeah, sure. Let's, uh. Boing, 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 boing. Mess up Bowser. Oh. Oh. Well, I didn't expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you get some licks in. Not today. Ah. Uh, we'll done next turn. Bingo time! It's over for you, Bowser. My Yoshi's gonna ground pound you to the ground! So I've got Zalas, he don't even bat an eye when some fool ambushes him. Tough, you're too tough, son, and you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone, see ya. Oh, yeah. Here's your fight money. Thanks. I almost got enough to buy the W emblem. Whoa, that was the king of the Koopas, wasn't it? Wow, that guy's a loose cannon. Yeah. Rank four, Craw Daddy. We can avoid using any items. Okay. Sounds easy. <laughs> the crawl, Daddy. Crawl! Oh. I was expecting it was like one of the crows. The dark gatekeeper. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. 
Da 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 Don't use items. Ah. Oh, shoot. Yoshi, I can't have you mess this one up, or I die. Good job. The 75. I love how my Yoshi is just the biggest shit talker. Godzilla sounds like another male, huh? Go to the telephone booth on the pavilion from X. Old X dude surfaced again. We gotta go to the phone booth outside now? Where was that thing? Ah, oh, we'll find it. Let's head outside. Let's heal first. <laughs> Don't you want rock? Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk! Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. <laughs> yeah, you better keep walking, you punk chicken. You hear me talking? Hey, wait, I wonder. You think that idiot sent us that hate mail? I guess it doesn't matter. Someone hates us, so we better watch our steps. Save block. Go, Yoshi. Huh. Oh. Let's pit storage room. And go to the storage room next to Grubba's office. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need the exercise? This dude is really cheesing me off. jungle animal. My title match. Oh, look, my poster's up there now. So, you tell me that you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Huh. Fine. Leave the rest of the matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. You! 
Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. It's the back halls. Screw you. Let's see what's in here. Miss Mouse? Oh! We meet again, you husky mustache hunk you. Are you a friend of Gonzales? I didn't know we hung with crooks. And you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. Um, it's quite obvious that someone else had been here monkeying around in here. Well, whatever. But you are a thief, right? Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you'd like. <laughs> and now he must part again, my sweet mustache man. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous. Only you get it. I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. With that goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese, we shall meet again. He just walks out the front door. Find the switch to reach the attic from X. A switch? So there's supposed to be a switch in here? Staircase. Alright, shine sprite. Oh, I forgot something down there. Oops. Charge B. plus partner. You didn't hear it. I find it hide or, or oh gosh. I got a nerve. So you didn't find oh no, I lost my country accent. You didn't find or hide or hair or nobody in that storage room, that what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd missed too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Greva. And so, I deleted his spot on the roster per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any official connection to KPP, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all the fighters who have gone missing. Who fighters have sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. 
What in tarnation's going on? I even heard some security is saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, I'll tell the other fellows that King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out about missing fighters, that sure ain't gonna be good business, no siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks run to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Gribble. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're doing you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, the that's Mr. Griffin, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy! Don't didn't mean to pry now. How about this then? Heard of the crystal star? No, no. I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Griffin. Okie doke. Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? You go on ahead and run along now, you hear? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, if this ain't a fight, how do you do? Seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is about the only draw I still got around here. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa! Did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Was that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. <laughs> hey, someone up there? Who oh, Nelly? Just a little old mouse. Here I am thinking someone's up there peeping. I gotta relax, take some yoga class or something. Yep, well, back to the ring. Whoa, whoa, man. We just a bullet there. Hey, did you hear that guy blabbling about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before someone finds us up here. Bama and Flair. I want you to avoid using their special moves. Alright. Okay, we're all good to go. Yoshi, what happened? Big bad brute bows. Oh yeah, have a bam and flare. My grandpappy's hammer is gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Gulp. Got him. Almost a level up. A level up right before the final fight, it looks like. Twenty two coins.
You should last warn and stop snooping around about the Crystal Star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. This guy really needs to t take a chill pill. He sure knows a lot, though. He's going to talk about. He's going on about the Crystal Star and the missing fighters, all that stuff. I tell you what, we find this guy, we'll have to. An we'll have all the answers we need. But who is this psycho? Ranked match. Rank two, Chomp Country, and five turns or less. Easy. Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift to buy from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here if that's okay. Do with it what you will. No. I'm good. Some scenes very suspicious. They give me a cutscene for that cake. And it didn't just appear. Hmm. Chain chomps. The red or fear orbs. Yep, but fight to the finish with Chomp Country. Arr, 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 arr. Battle. Gulp them up. Yeah. Give me that level up. Level up. That's what I'll do. Mario will become a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. Cool. I'm a B-lister. What happened to him? By the way, Gonzales, what's they doing on the floor back here? Ugh, body went numb. Stupid cake. Hate cake. Never eat cake again. Was that the cake? Was that cake poison? Yeah, it must have been. If we didn't, we'd be all banged up like that guy. Good thing we didn't. Coopinator. He's a partner skill at least twice. Yep, rest. <laughs> Coops versus the Coopinator. Razor Blade Brigadier. You, finally, I got a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who's truly stronger. Let's see how big my stage got. Dang.
shell shield. That'll work. Shell toss. Hitting them. There we go. Oof. Get some damage going. Get him under ten health. We're gonna power up here soon. There it is. Turn, I should. Hey, bingo. Boom. You broke my shell. Cuties ran away, that's messed up. One more turn. Hammer. Shell toss. It's over. Twenty two. We won. Cool. Coins. Number one in the rankings. Oh. Hey, another mail, Mario. Well, who is it this time? I was to take a guess. Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. Oh, okay. It's that X guy again. His matches just still freak me out, but this is our only clue. The great Gonzalez posters, huh? In the lobby, huh? We have to peel them off? Well, let's give it a shot. Oh, flurry. Madame Flurry. I really, I've taken this place by storm. Got all those off. 
Another poster gone. And one more. Storage key. Go to the second floor of the storage room for Max. Yeah, my Yoshi back. I see why they got rid of the spin when you have a Yoshi that zooms with you. But for the longest time, when you didn't have the, the Yoshi for the first two and a half chapters, you were moving slow. Alright. Wrong button. Whoa! You gotta be kidding me! They had Andy and King K! Listen to me, oh, man, don't get near the ring when no one is around. Uh. Come on, shake it off, buddy, what do you mean? Don't go near the ring. Dun, dun, dun. Gonzalez, you see that? That was Jolene. This craziness, what is going on in here? Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Yep. Give me my last ranked match. Well, guess what? Your next match is the title match. Who we? Dar Tootin, you're up against the champ, Rock Hawk. Now, I want to see a fair and exciting match, so don't you let me down now, you hear? Now, listen, son, in this battle, there are no conditions. You fight that champ with every trick and technique you got. Now, get in there and win yourself a championship. Easy. Hold up, dude. Where are you heading? That ain't the way to the arena. Yeah, you get. Uh, you go this way this time because it's a special match. Hey, hold on, meat Ed. This doesn't seem right. You two wait here. Hey, this ain't the ring. It's a minor league room, locker room, and it's empty. That guy said to wait, but dude, we're missing our title bout. This stinks.
Now for today's main event, the top dog of the Major League, the Great Gonzalez, is finally going to throw down with the champ, the one, the only, Rock Hawk. First enter the ring, the Golden Grandstander, Rock Hawk. Doggies, champ. How you feel, son? Your challenge is a handful. He don't want a handful of this. Uh-uh. There's only one champ, and it's me. Even if this Gonzalez was ever shows up, was ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. But the great Gonzalez made it to the top of the majors faster than anyone ever. He even got up there faster than you did, champ. What you gotta say about that? Huh, what do I have to say? Pfft, that's what. Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Because now he's going to get rocked. Okay, that's it. Nobody's coming for us, man. Hear me? Let's go. Kick some tail. Aw, we. Some punks locked us in here. We're trapped in here. And now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez. Hold the phone, folks. What the hell's going on? What happened to the great Gonzalez? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. He fears the rock. Hoy! What a stupid fun, stupid fine development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez really turn yellow and head for the hills like a dog? I tell you what, folks, if he don't show soon, he's going to forfeit the match. I'm getting cheated. I'm getting cheated. Man, this is the worst. We're going to forfeit our match if we don't show. We got to break out of here, man, right now. Down the toilet I go. I request that we never do that again. Oh, we're in the Major League locker room. Quickly, to the arena. Don't you worry, my fans. I am here. I am here. The moment you were waiting for, folks. The great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Looks like we made it, dude. And the crowd is loving us. We are stars, baby. Come on, let's go lay the smack down on that big chicken. Just listen to this crowd's hoot and holler for the challenger, Great Gonzalez. Will the hammer of hurt and be it hurt and harm be har enough to rock the rock hawk socks? Now, at long last, the battle and to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Get yourselves ready to battle! Ooh. Hey, we got Luigi in the crowd. All right, Gonzalez, we're fighting the champ. I'm so fired up. <laughs> you should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What kind of trash talking are you doing now? Wait, did you get that security guard to lock us in the locker room? You're darn right I did. I also sent that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. 
So you're the coward who's been sending nasty emails about the Crystal Star. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about babbling about what about now. Now it's a Crystal Star. No, wait, I don't care. I may not play exactly fair, but I got skills, punks. And now you're about to meet them all, baby. Prepare to be rocked. Ground pound them. Ow. And a bouncy, 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 bouncy. Not too shabby, you're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swelled though, cause you got a ways to go. Check this out. Huh. Time to rock! Throw it, Luigi, throw it! Just in case. Get him, Yoshi. Get him, Yoshi. Get him, Yoshi. Get him, Citrus. Boing, 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 bam, bam. Five health left. Oh no! Man, you're kinda annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should've just taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I got no choice but to. Get him down. Shooting star. This this actually kills him. Yeah. Thanks, Luigi. No. Ah, Rockhawk, the champ, the undefeated master. I've lost to such losers. Macho Grubba! Yow! Grubba beefed up! Hooey! I'm gonna smush you guys into guacamole and snack all your energy too! Aww, he's going Super Saiyan! Here we go. Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little piece of prairie piffle. So long as I got this here machine, my battle, my bottle be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Let's rock, Gonzales. I'm ready to chew this dude out up and spit him out. Let's see if I can try this. Nope. Ground pound. Oh, I need to heal. I forgot to heal.
That'll work. Definitely better off than I was. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Oops. Oh yeah, keep it spicy. You know I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course I ain't gonna do you much good in the end. So powers up three. Oh! I might, might need to do another sweet treat. Ah! That's fine. Uh, bounce, 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 bounce. Defense, uh, all right. What if I... Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, just try and do stuff, I guess. Get your rock out of here. Time to get some damage in it going. Not too shabby, Gonzales. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But this here's battle's just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rum kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. Alright, attack up three. Oh. Yep, sweet treat. Ah, oh, that's bull. Ooh, I needed more help than that, but okay.
shrink him down. I guess I'll go ahead and eat this Mario, why not? Defend! Attack plus four. I don't like that. Alright. Damage rolling. Yeah. Ah. One more turn should do it. I ain't finished yet, Gonzalez. Oh, it ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports. And let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. Alright, let's see if we can... Yoshi, Citrus, end it now! Yeah! yeah. Woo! No! How to let this happen? How could a perfect bod like mine lose to such a schlub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Oh. Mr. Champion! No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubber. Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd have anything he'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. They suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated it in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I actually saw Mr. Grubbett transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Aha! So our ex-buddy was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew that you were the only one who could challenge Grubbett. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba! I want answers right now! What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion! Prince Mush! Ugh. Prince Mush, he... He discovered the secret of my power-sucking machine. I had him, uh, disappear. Any which way you look at it, uh, ain't around these parts no more. No! I... I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. Boy, I thought she was kind of mean, but turns out she was just worried for her brother. Wow, check it out, Gonzalez. The Crystal Star. Is it Prince Mush? Ooh. 
Whoa. Is this... Am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I, I was, I was just... There, there, Mush, it's okay. It's all over, finally. Is that what Crystal Scars can do? Now, Mario, the Crystal Star is yours. Oh yeah, give it to me. Give me that yellow golden star. Whoa! Are you sure? It's okay if we just take it? It's better than you have it, but you have it, so nothing like this will ever happen again. It's all you, Gonzales. Nab it, dude! You got a crystal star. Now forward, learn the special move power lift. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Glitzville seeming the underside was a dark, dangerous place seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity. Acquired the third Crystal Star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the Crystal Star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? To Peach? Beldum. Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character? Well, yes, yeah, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do not understand that we Exonauts must open the Thousand Year Door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Oh, go. Go, go, go. Hmm, no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been, de been to ask about the map. Oh my, that must be tech again. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tick. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I don't know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true. But you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask Grotus? I want you to ask... Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He sure is a weird computer.
Oh, is this the elevator you wanted me to go in? Please, wait just a moment. There's currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Who? Now Princess Peach. After leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is in the room nearby with the green lamp. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Hmm? Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Ah, oh, oof. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight, and it kind of smells a bit. Phew! Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. Ha! Huh. I bet I look perfect. I love that it makes their noise, too. Slacker, what part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Hmm? What? Come again? Oh, are you on your break? Well, fine, carry on. No one open chat. This must be the wrong place. Huh? Do you smell that, dude? What a weird smell. You smell nice. That's just wrong, dude. <laughs> Do not disturb. So I went the wrong way. Wish I could jump. That'd be even funnier. Excuse me, Sir Grotus. Yes, what is it? Speak. Er, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm. Something is wrong with your voice, ex -naught. Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. Oh, uh, no, well, never mind. Oh, what about Princess Peach? I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why? Why in the world are we keeping her then? here, then? It's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impotent worm. Concentrate on getting that crystal stars. That is all I require of you. We ex nots need a legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm. Something is odd about you. No, no, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger or whatever, please, excuse me. Hey, she did the thing. I thought she was gonna get caught if she didn't do that. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world, talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Off with this thing. Whew, 
Good old pink dress. My favorite. Why did I wear, ever, er, wear anything different? I better get back quickly. Tech, you terrible machine, so your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's the and what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. <clears throat> Clickety clackety. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you've had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Here we go with Bowser. <laughs> that thing's humongous. Everybody hide now. Save yourselves. Who would have thought that fool Mario would be in Glitzville of all places? Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no. Nothing at all as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the Crystal Star. Yeah, yeah, this guy is big and bad. He's larger than charge. You're one of them, aren't you? One of those evil doers who want their crystal star. Ha! See? I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude! Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone? I'm a great puny elder. Eh, my heart. Don't start me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. Yes, Lord Bowser. You look as if you're just dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hat Thing, where's the Crystal Star? And don't try pulling Rick again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. <laughs> Hat Thing, honestly. In any case, you're too late. The Crystal Star is gone. Huh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Martio. He said he was collecting the Crystal Stars to rescue some princess. What did you call her? Princess Peach. Pinch. Yeah, he was off to save that lucky lass. I thought he said lucky ass. It's Mario, not Mario. And it's Princess Pinch. It's her name is Princess Peach. But your senility. Oh god. Senility is beyond the point. The princess of the Crystal Stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses. Does his greed never end? That jackal! Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! If I find them, I'm gonna finish them off once and for all, I swear it! 
Oof. So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. I won't delay you. I hope you succeed and find the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I wanna tell you. Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty no more. I ain't gonna hit I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win that title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember when life rocks you? Rock back! Listen, G Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I've ever met. And you ever need it, I've got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby! And it's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grip is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Ooh. Sweet! Another crystal star! That's three, right? We'd better roll back to Roadport, don't you think? You ain't never been to Roadport, son. Gonzalez, you got an email. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to the it's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I'll gather what information I can. It says Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink! 